Right. So, um, my business. Just introduce introduce myself. Obviously, I'm Chef Yeti of Yes Kitchen, and in this uh, Q and A, I'm going to be speaking with Angela and Reggie of Vandita Freelancing, as well as many of the other businesses they're going to talk about in this in this recording. So, if you do have any questions for them, or if you want to contact them regarding business opportunities, uh, Angela, you tell them where to find you. Yeah, so um, you can email vandinterfreelancing at gmail.com for Vandinter Freelancing. We have a Facebook page. If you put Vandinter Freelancing, it should come up. And then I run an art business, um, which is kind of art products, my paintings, greeting cards, calendars, going into products very soon. And you find me on Instagram, Facebook, um, various other things as art, art antics or art antics. So um and it's at anticsuk at gmail.com. Beautiful. So thank you for the plug. The floor is yours, Angela. Ask me, shoot. Well, I don't even know where to start because um, I just know that I'm not getting, I mean, we've had a conversation about recently about how I thought I've had customers and there have actually been people wanting to date me, which is very awkward when you're married. Um, so I guess it's just about I may be improving my SEO, um, just working out how to, how to get out there, how to find my customer, I think. I think that's my main thing. I need to identify my customers and um, get, them to, get them to buy from me, basically. Um, I have had people, like, this is not, it's not like I've never made a sale, um, but it... <laughs> I've made a few card sales recently, but I want to be at the place where I can pretty much do this at least full time or part time. And we're making money out of it. We're not really making, I may have, I've made like 26 pounds in the last couple of months, which is, you know, not nothing. And we can't even get that off the system because PayPal's being awkward and Wix is being awkward. So I don't even know. But um, not that I have a problem with either of those websites because I know this is going on like, going online and I don't want to get sued um but yes yeah, so I need to find my customers basically and uh, my art is very um it's very quirky and up till now it's not been that commercial but I am going to start doing a bit more kind of like commercial of what people um what people what people might want my first one of that is a B that I've just done and I'm going to do like birds and things like that things that people might my more one rather than my strange surreal prophetic type paintings but there are people out there that do like them i just need people to buy them and i'm not it's not even i'm gonna want gonna be pushing the the actual painting side of it because obviously that's quite expensive but the print side of it like to find people who would be willing to buy my prints i'm not sure why you're smiling but hey and you're on mute right now aren't you as well I'm laughing at the fact that you said your, your, your stuff's expensive. Who said it's expensive? Uh, true. So, your product is never expensive until you find the right target market. And then you find the right target market and they can afford what you do. So I don't think, I don't see anything that's expensive. True. Rolls Royce doesn't think they're expensive. True. Best people think they're expensive. You know, they do what they do and there's a market for it. Yeah. So I need to find my market basically. That's the... That's the thing. Um, okay. Yeah. So just to keep it short, um, not, not that you're rambling on. I was laughing when you said that. You're not rambling on because we need to know what the problem is first. And to know the problem, you can't describe that in one minute. So you're doing fine. Um, what other businesses do you do? Do you, you do art and what else? What other ones do you want advice for? Um, well, I'm going to go. We've talked about me doing some webinars after Christmas. So I'm going to do that like in terms of teaching. Um, my skills. Um, I I did a lot of live painting over lockdown, over the first lockdown, um, which I, I think I kind of got some, some card sales from that. But they always tend to be people that I know. The thing you find with Facebook is you find it's mainly people you know. But then I've had some random person contact me from Rwanda recently. So clearly people who I don't know are but well, that's still art, Angela. That's still art. Any other things? Oh, yeah. Fand into freelancing. Yep. Yeah. Um, so one of the issues of Fand into freelancing that we can talk about on this is we need to find a web hosting 
company that I don't know if this is something we can follow. Yeah, a web hosting company who um, we can pay monthly um, and won't charge us an arm and a leg. Because the issue we have is we don't have three or four hundred pounds to outlay today, but we could outlay ten, five pounds, ten pounds, say a month. But also we need to we need to be making more than five websites because that's part of our business. Yeah. Even with sorry. Why five? But that's so I looked on the one you sent me and that's it said that you get five five websites for that price. So what are you going to do with all five? I'm just wondering, why are you going for five when you have about five, five businesses? Why five? We already have, exactly, we already have so many businesses. So we fill up those web, those websites with just yeah. the businesses that we have. Okay, well, not enough. Huh? Carry on, listen. Um, yeah, so we want to be like making like, I don't know, 100 a year or something, maybe? 100 websites a year, ideally. 100 websites a year? Okay, that's a lot, isn't it? What, what are you selling? I'm one. I don't even have a hundred websites. No. Okay, no, no. Are you, are you selling websites? Maybe that's why. Yeah. yeah so part of part of abandoning a freelancing is the whole marketing. Um, yeah. What's the word? Um, um, and within within that, so we have abandoned to marketing, which is your social and um, Social, so, social media, social media management. We, we so, manage uh, three to five social media accounts for businesses, uh, small, oh. independent, uh, or existing larger uh, businesses uh, that need support during, uh, definitely during this, during lockdown, d during, lockdown during this pandemic um, that are, um, well, that, that have kind of maybe some, some struggles themselves with, with, Keeping their customers, yeah. and, uh, we you know we want to help these people to have more uh, social media presence online. So we're coming up with social, but also so packages that we can offer to them, like ideas of how to get your restaurant out there, or not just your restaurant, your business out there, yeah. and also helping some businesses, charities, um, ministries, organizations to get themselves online churches churches because not everybody yeah. has an online presence and really you're not yeah. going to make get very far today in today's well, age are you trying to sell something you're you're learning at the moment uh possibly so you, <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry I, I always ask very frank questions you know me already by no, now. I know, I know well that. i already know how to build websites i'm um, not disputing that but you're, you're, quite, currently the learning, you're currently in the learning phase i'm saying i'm not disputing that you know how to build a website yeah, yeah. you're currently in the learning phase and you're selling to somebody else what you're learning because so you started this you started this conversation saying you're trying to get your business out there and then you said you you're going to help businesses get their work the word of the business out there yeah, I know. It's not ideal, but it kind of, it's like, it's one of those things where it all happens together. And like, ideally, we would have spent 10 years learning this, but the opportunity or the idea presented itself when yeah. we've got to kind of learn as we go along at the same time as... I'm just saying that, how about focusing on your business? I'm not saying, by all means, the way God works. And for anybody watching this... Um, Angela and uh, Reggie are pretty prophetic. So if you hear us use the word God, doesn't mean this is about, this is not business advice for those in the religious sector. This applies to any kind of business. So for anybody listening, ignore the bit about God if you don't believe, about it, if you don't believe in God. So um, by all means, what would happen is by the time you're focusing on your business, God will then bring people, it's like a magnet. God will then bring people who like what you do and then by default you sell what you do to them. Rather than whilst you're learning to walk, you're, it's like a, like a baby learning to walk, and the other and it's, it's calling other babies to say, "Come, I'll show you how to walk." Ow. Right. So I'm just saying, when you perfect, and you do, I don't mean perfection becomes a hundred percent. If you perfect your business, you would make so much money that it's just like somebody right now telling me to take on their restaurant. I own Yetis Kitchen right now. And if somebody said, you know what, oh, we've got a restaurant and we would like you to run it for us. I'm pretty busy with my business. I'm sorry. I don't think I can run another restaurant with what I'm doing right now. And I'm just saying, if you spent so much time, I just have to set a time of 
if you spent so much time building your business, you would actually get to a point where you might not have time to do other people's business and sort out a website for them and whatever. Else. Are you seeing where I'm coming from? Because you've yeah. been making so much money, you've been making so much money from Vandita freelancing, or you've been making so much money from your art stuff that you have so much. I was on a business call. I was on a business call with business networking call in Manchester. I think you guys should also join. Uh, they're just online. It was Eventbrite that I joined. And it was just a lot of business owners in Manchester that came together on a conference call to just talk about the problems they're facing. And then maybe anybody on the call can help them solve the problems. Mm -hmm. And then one lady was like, she just did it as a joke. She was just painting t-shirts and then customizing those t-shirts. <coughs> and within the first month of doing that, she had 7,000 orders. Wow. Right? within the first, just t-shirts. And now she's got all the equipment. She's got a studio flat, she and a partner. And now they've literally got so many shirts on the floor that are drying out and they're waiting to send them by post. So, wow. and, and what I'm trying to say is by the time you focus so much on your business in terms of your marketing vendetta, your doing social media posts, you're going to every business meeting you need to attend for your business. You'll be so booked out in such a way where so then begin to think of, oh, we want, we want to buy a package on one.com that would build a hundred websites. For who? I, I, I don't even, I build websites as well, but I'm too busy to do that. And I'm just wondering where you're going to get the time because I see God doing something amazing with you guys that you'll be too busy to build a hundred websites. So we, all right, so maybe not a hundred was maybe me being a bit over the thing, but, but Reggie, for example, is building one for somebody in Holland. Yeah. Um, we need to build one for Van Dinter Freelancing. Art Antics has one already. The ministry. The one, I mean, our ministry. charity. And then there's a Bible school that are thinking about whether we're going to work. They're, we're going to work for them. We've offered to work for them, and they're they're going over our proposal. So that's four websites. Is it? Yeah. And then you got a cafe renovate. So yeah. we've got five re websites already. So. That would just not be, you know, I need a pen. Please come find me a pen. Carry on. So go and find me a pen. So that's five websites before you even, you know, you get started. So, I mean. Why, why are you joining those websites to your bundle? Why are you not just building the websites and giving it to your customers? Because yeah. you have to have web hosting. Ah, okay. So, yeah. so Reggie's good at websites, but he's not a coder. No, no, no. So he could, in terms of he you could, want to buy a package that gives you five websites, right? No, it doesn't have to be five. It's just the one that you found, you sent me. Um, no, what he means is, why don't you just build the website and give the website to the, to the person to, to maintain themselves and stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, not the problem. That's, not, that's not the issue. So we only just have, we only just, they pay right, us. Okay, I, I explain. So, for example, on, I won't say the name of them because we're recording, but we'll have me pen. So, uh, uh, Fred Blogs web hoster, you build a website with them and they charge you uh, maybe say a hundred pounds for you to host that website with them. Um, and then, um, and then obviously you have to pay, you pay, you charge your client, say another 300 pounds on top of that to, because you've built them a website. Then you have to pay, but you have to pay the web hoster a hundred pounds if it's per website. If you can get a platform that lets you have loads of websites, then you pay them say three hundred pounds for three years. <laughs> well, that then means bum your pen. That then means that you would need to, if the customer wants to come off. And move somewhere else. They'll need to contact you. Yeah, that is that has been a bit. Of, you know these pen tools. Yeah, that's been there we go. That's what it works. Um, yeah. yeah okay. So this is the conundrum. I guess we need help with. Like we need to know. So like we like we talked briefly about last night. Um, obviously we don't want to go. We don't want to pay money when we don't need to. So like somebody put us onto uh, another one. Crocodile hoster. I'll call them. Host. Yeah, but you don't yeah, say the name. So, yeah. Um, crocodile home, and 
Um, they are charging 300, 270, was it? So it works out at 5.99 a month for like unlimited websites, which is just amazing. Oh, it's not, it's not amazing. Let's, let's be careful. Ah, okay. Here she go. Here we go. It's not amazing because you're going to buy those websites and then they don't let you put WordPress on. Right. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know if they did. Did you check? I'm, I'm sure they don't. They do, anyway. but you have to pay extra. So they might be giving you all those websites for, for nothing, but then you, you, the fact that they're giving you all websites, let, let's be clear. If they're giving you a website, five websites, you still need to buy the domain. Let's start with that. So they might be giving you five or 10 or 100 websites for 300 pounds, but you still need to buy the domain name. The domain name can sometimes cost you between 10 pounds to 50 pounds or more, right? So you're paying 300 pounds plus the domain name, plus hosting, plus WordPress installation. This is the thing. It really does mount up when you... Yes. Versus, if you can see my screen, I'm currently sharing a screen with you. Yeah. Versus if you go with this domain, I'm going to mention names. Because okay. I'm doing them a favor, really. Um, I wasn't, was I? So, yeah. <laughs> uh, versus uh, if you go with one.com, you get WordPress installed by default. You would get um, email accounts on that other one you mentioned. You need to pay for an email address. Mm. So you're buying a domain for heaven's sake. The least they could bloody give you is an email address, but they don't give you an email address. Mm. Right? You have to go for Gmail. You have a website called www.banditafreelancing.co.uk for you now your email address is bandita whatever at gmail.com, which is That's not just because we we don't have a website yet, that's why. But yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, but even if you do have a website, you wouldn't get an email. You need to pay for the email address, which is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know. So, anyways, let's not talk about problems. Let's talk about solutions. I don't like talking about problems. Anyway, if you look here, I'm pretty similar to yourself in terms of I've got about five websites on this domain, right? Mm -hmm. My account, right? And I'll show you. I'm gonna have to log out to show you what option I went for. Okay. Uh, okay. I looked at I already have a domain name bought for the ministry. I'm and sure you can. I'm sure called. you can transfer it over. Let's just call it Vanduta. Yeah, I got a lady who I work with. She bought it on the Daddy website. Let's call it the Daddy website. She got it on the Daddy website. <laughs> And by the time she saw how much she needed to pay extra, it was pretty cheap in terms of $5. She was like, wow, that's a steal. She bought the name. And by the time she realized that she needed to pay for email, she needed to pay for hosting, she needed to pay for this. Everything came to about 150 pounds, from five pounds to about 150 pounds in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, thank you. That's not what I was planning to pay, to get my website up and running. Okay. So I'm gonna click on continue, and then this is where you get to choose your options. So like you said, this one would give you boom, 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 five websites, like you said. Yeah. It would give you five websites and then you get one click WordPress for free. You're not paying extra for that. You get 500 email addresses for free. You get, yeah. 200, you get 200 gigabytes of space. You also get a website uh -huh. builder, right? With this one, you also get one click WordPress. With this one, you don't get it. So if you pay 99p, you get 100 email accounts with that. You still get an email address, 100 of them. So all your employees could have an email address. But you don't get to get one click WordPress. You get to pay extra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is what I use. It's not the cheapest in terms of, yes, what they do is they lure you in. And for the one year, you probably pay 20 pounds for a year, which is super cheap. And you've got your website covered. But at the end of the year, you'd get a bill of about 300 pounds. To say to renew, you need to pay three hundred pounds to renew your. Oh, okay. So they're super cheap to start with, but at the end of the one year, they hold you for ransom, and then it's not the cheapest. And then you look at then at that point, you look at the daddy guys, and you're like, uh, I think you guys are cheaper to start with. But then when you think about the trouble of moving your websites, you're like, oh, you yeah, be bothered. I'll just leave it with one.com. So it's totally up to you. But I, I've them. been with them for about three, four years now. And the reason I'm with them for three, four years is I can't be bothered to move. Um, but yes, and the other day I had a little round with the CEO to say, I've got so many websites with you. 
and I can't believe you're charging me so much. And then he gave me a discount. Oh, wow. For this one? Yes. So, oh. I, uh, yeah, I complained and he gave me a discount. And he actually oh. put into my account and moved things around to make it cheaper for me. Wow. But that was my, because obviously, like, I was, I was spending so much money with him. So, yeah. So, that's that. So, I'm hoping that answers your question about websites. I mean, yeah, it's thing does. one might be the best yeah, but, option for us, but, I guess. I mean, for, definitely immediately, but and as a like a to sort our problem out straight away. But we will be making more than five websites is the issue. So I'm just wondering if there's one, there's a decent one. <laughs> to, I don't know. Excuse if the we... point. There's more. There's one of seven websites. There's ten websites. But like I said. Oh, okay. Like I said, we also want to be careful because I, yeah, as a website developer, I build websites myself. Um, my, my thing as TSG, that's more girl because that's my brand name for building websites. My mm -hmm. thing is I, I always build websites or build products for customers where they don't have to come back to me because if they have to keep coming back to me, it becomes an issue for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, what, so, so I guess the best way to do it is that... Um, I build the website for the customer, but uh, register the customer with, with, with their email address. So literally, uh, when I'm going That's for- That's the best what, way to work. What, what, what? Sorry. When I'm for a customer, I normally go for the 249 option, this one right here, the 249 yeah. option. Yes, and then they get, if it's WordPress, you're building your website. If you're not building with WordPress, if you're building with HTML uh, or whatever other options, you obviously don't need one, one click. You can go for the cheapest of 99p. You know, and you include that in the cost to your customer. Um, mm. I, I, yeah. I normally do mine at 249, they get the email address, they get a website, they get a WordPress, and that way they, I'll, give, I'll send them the username, I'll send them the password, and that way if they go to a different developer after one year and say, you know what, move things around, they've got to use no, the password. No, that's what I need. So almost then. Or there's a benefit right. to tying your customer to yourself because they might need maintenance on their website. Because there's no point in building a website for a customer and in a month's time, they're like, oh, I want to include shopping. I want to allow my customer to add items to the basket. Yeah. Right? And then when you help them with that, they're in a place where they, they're so busy like myself and I want somebody to permanently manage my website in terms of anytime there are upgrades to the system or technical upgrades, they want you to take over for them. So sometimes it's good to hold your customer to ransom in terms of you've got the username and you've got the password and you've got this 10 website option. And that way it makes you more money because they pay you about 300 pounds to build them a website and whatever. And then they pay you a monthly fee of 20 quid a month by direct debit. They yeah, pay you 20 quid a month to just maintain their website. 50 pounds you want me to charge for All maintenance. Right. But yeah. No, you can charge 50 pounds. Believe me, I sent, uh, there's somebody who works with me to build websites. And if anything, both of us, I kind of trained him and about a month ago, I asked him for, somebody asked me to build a website for them and I was pretty busy. So I said, you know, I might as well give it to this guy that I trained and I asked him for a quote and the guy gave me a quote of 17,000 pounds to, to, to build a website. And I was like, I was like, do you think it's the BBC that's asked me to do a website for them? This is just this, this is just an entrepreneur who's just starting life. He's just, where, where do you think is it's, Am I talking about ITV needs to build a website? Come on now, <laughs> you know? And then he goes, oh, really and truly that the most he can do is 11,000. So Reggie, by all means, people are out there that charge that much and they actually get paid down, they get 50 pounds per month or even more to maintain a website. It's, it's what you make of it. Like I said, the people out there who have the money. Yeah, I'm not there yet. 17,000 pounds a month. Yeah. Well, in the end, when I sent my quote, because I knew how much work it would be, I sent a quote for £4,000 because I thought that was fair. And I knew that the website would take me a lot of time to build and all that. So I sent a quote for 4000 And when the guy came back to me, he said, you know what, you're actually the cheapest out of all the other quotes I got. And that's what his feedback was. Wow. He did not, he did not give me the contract in the end because he said, oh, Corona, he hasn't got money. But he did give me feedback that I was actually the cheapest. So I'm, I'm I'm very conscientious. I use my conscience to charge people, but seventeen thousand pounds for website. What are you building? <laughs> well, I think personally, for what we do with marketing and branding, I think we need to throw it on their social media marketing um, because there's loads of restaurants out there that already have websites. Um, so, so we're so, offering. So, we're abandoned to freelance at the moment. 
So we're offering like um, website if you don't have one. If you do yeah. have one, then we're offering you like doing your marketing events, and branding and events, events management organization and stuff like that. Yeah. So can I go back to the web hosting? Right. Then you. So flow. You ask me whatever you want to ask me. Yeah. So um. So it, you could easily right sign up the customer and just charge that 250 on top of what you're yeah. so then you don't even need like and you, you could even charge that one or that one or that one um it's not that much and so on top of what I'm you're saying what does, the cost, website, what does the customer need to do if you want to build a successful customer depending on the type of website depending on the kind of website your minimum i would normally charge a minimum of 500 Right, well, we're charging three at the moment, but we can go. So, and that 500 would include whatever's in here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking 500 is better than 300. But it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You might meet somebody who's really struggling for money. You just know exactly, that. that's it. Yeah. That's it. And you, yeah. I think the people, up till now, the people that we have are building websites, when I say we, I don't build a website, but you know what I mean. Um, people that abandoned for freelancing and building the website for, uh, you know, they don't have lots of money. So even 300 pounds can be a bit of a... On the other side, most we aim at some of the other stuff that we're doing as a business, not just the website building and... Uh, well, this is just uh, something that we, this is an yeah, issue yeah. that we issue, needed to yeah. iron out ASAP. Right. So I feel like I understand a little bit more now. So we could go with that one just to to mention, for, just to for ourselves. Just to there's also the option to make sure you build your customer's website using Wix because it's hassle free. You can charge Wix. Yes. You can charge the customer for maintenance, but there's no maintenance involved. And the customer would never know any better that you're using Wix for them. Oh, yeah. So, um, but, but Wix, you have to pay 100. I mean, we didn't. Yeah, mind. Wix does cost about two, uh, uh, almost 200 quid. You include it, you include it in the customer's price. Yeah. yeah, no, that's what, that's what. But what I'm just saying, it, it puts you in a place where with, with all these options of work, one click WordPress, I'm in a place where on average, my website breaks every two months. I mean, breaks in terms of it's not online. When you type yeteskitchen.com, you can't mm -hmm. find my website anymore. Was that because of this? One, WordPress is very, they, WordPress has, has an upgrade on average every month. And when they have an upgrade, things begin yeah, to break. Wix is the easiest. But can you do Wix through this? You can't, can you? This is nothing to do with Wix. Wix is Wix has their own hosting. They have their own exactly, hosting. and yeah. it's but it's expensive. That's the thing. But it's not expensive once more because once more, your customer is paying you for your time. So if it's two hundred pounds on Wix to build a website, you charge the customer five hundred, and you know two hundred goes to Wix, and three hundred goes for your time. Yeah, I suppose if it's three hundred pounds, you can go for this. If it's five hundred, even, pounds, even, even if it's three hundred. You know, you go for the cheapest option. I'm sure it's not to build a website on Wix. It's not, uh, the minimum is not 200. 170 was mine, wasn't it? Yeah, because it was a business website. It was a proper it's business a website, shop. The web a... shop and everything. Yeah, that's why it costs more. But if you have a normal professional... Well, if you want a website that's got a shop, surely 300 pounds when you're taking a mic, you can't build a website with a shop for 300 pounds. Go home, go and sleep, go and find more money. <laughs> uh. Mean that you need to be charging more if you build in a shop. You're right. A yeah. shop, a shop is more like I said. It's all about if you want a basic one-page website, and that's what I'm saying. Websites, websites go by complexity. A basic one-page yeah. website can be fifty quid because it literally takes an hour to build that. Because all you're doing is just pasting information about us, information, our address, basic stuff like that. But if you're telling me you want me to build a shop, then I've got to put every item in a category, and then every item that goes in a category needs to go. With an uh, with with, with, with a, what's it called a, a code because every item has a code where if the item is running low I need to alert you to let you know that the item is running low because everybody's we've only yeah. got thirty items in stock. They That's if you're gonna have like a proper a web shop uh, outside of a Wix website. You know, a complexity of a shop is way yeah. beyond. And then when you're talking about shops, you might also want to integrate social media involved, meaning that. If I'm building you a website with a shop, you might want to include Shopify, meaning that when people look at your Instagram page, they can order an item right there on Instagram and they don't need to go on your website. Are you telling me you want all of that for 300? Go have a seat. For your business. No, no, that's a lot. Yeah. yeah. No, but he built a shop on my website. That was the point. But it's a very simple shop. It's Husband, not. A... Husband, like, Husband, like, 
Can't. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to charge my husband. Yeah, no. <laughs> In other ways. So Please. what I'm trying to say is, you can still charge your 500 and sleep well, having the right conscience, knowing that the customer is paying you for your time. You've also spent 200 pounds four weeks, and you know that there's never any upgrades, there's no maintenance involved, but you're still charging the customer for maintenance. Meaning that if a customer wants to make a tweak and say, oh, our homepage, I don't like that picture, or we've got a new logo now, can you upload yeah. the logo? That's what Wix is, Wix is the best website builder I've worked with at the, so far. I don't know about the best, let's be careful. I don't know about the best. No, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, well, the most easiest. <laughs> Anyway, it's it's a decent one. That's it. It's a decent one. The thing is, when you when 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 if somebody's asking you to do something for three hundred pounds, you obviously know you go to one.com. If the customer is willing to pay you a thousand pounds, you obviously go to Wix. And like I said, if you have the time, meaning that the customer is paying you a thousand pounds, but you only want to spend five pounds, and you keep it nine hundred and ninety-five pounds in your pocket, you can always come to one.com and know that you are keeping a lot of your profit in your pocket rather than you paying half of your profit to Wix because you're being lazy. You decide. Mm. Yeah. Do you think um, that, sorry, lunch. She's eating. Right. She's sorry. eating. Sorry. Eating on a sorry. conference call. Sorry. Um, do you think then that like, you should ask the customer whether they want to go with Wix or? I don't know. You never let the customer know where you're off. This is what I said. Yeah. No. So, so don't do that ever again. Okay. Because the minute, the minute you say you're going to Wix, they'll go there by themselves and compare the prices and go, oh, they're charging me for an arm and a leg. And then by the time they realize they're on Wix, they'll be like, hold on, I could build this myself. I don't need to go to Van Vita. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I guess I'm going to fix up my prices. Yeah. So you never let them know where. You... Where am I going to build our, uh, our business website in and our. Uh... On this. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cheap. So there's that, and then one other place I go to build websites no. is here. I have a license with these guys, and they give me what? websites for free. Think, ah! <laughs> a different one, right? She's screaming. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, on this, okay, in fact, things, they give me WordPress for free, meaning I just get a template. So when you tell me this is free, it's so easy. Well, this is how I make my WordPress easy, Reggie. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so as you can see on here, we have all items and they give you, I think about, about $25 I pay per month to these guys. And when you look at my social media, everybody looks at my social media. I don't know what you guys think of my social media. It's, it's very good. It's very good. I get all of that from here. Okay. Right. So, so, so for me, it's a one-stop shop in terms of when i'm editing videos this is where i go so the other day i created yeah, we a flyer. website templates for the business yeah I did. so I remember the other day i created a flyer and you guys were like wow yeah remember it was from here yeah wow so and this is 25 dollars a month to use I, and 20 because i use graphics a lot i use websites a lot i use video editing a lot so to me oh, so I did not sign up with, I signed up with these guys. What, one other trick I use with this website is I sign up for one month and I spend one whole month. I buy a terabyte of, of hard drive and I spend one whole month downloading every single thing on their website. Oh, clever. And then after that one month, I cancel my membership. And for the remaining 11 months of the year, I'm editing everything I've downloaded from their website. This is before you pay the subscription subscription. Oh no, no, obviously you pay per month, so I don't need them for the rest of the year. Oh wow. So that way it saves me money. Right? So you have the option of paying per month, and if you don't have the option of paying per month, you pay the twenty five pounds and you spend the next thirty days on a schedule. You go to every single category, which is stock videos, video template, music for your videos, sound effects for your videos, graphic design mm, is that not illegal is you got a license mate you're paying all right yeah remember 25 pounds and you get a license whatever you're downloading is copyright free so you're not infringing on anybody's copyright you get a license for every single thing you download we're gonna do that maybe a few months rather than one. but yeah but the idea i get the idea no. so, all right so i literally go to every you... country 
on here and I download all, it's got PowerPoint presentation. So if you're going to be making a pitch, you're going to be making a pitch to a company to say you want to take over their social media. You obviously need a nice presentation template. You don't want to send them something you've made on Microsoft Word. Can you show uh, some of this? Of course you... I can. I'm, I'm just telling you what they do. If you want um, stock photos, remember yesterday we were trying to find stock photos on Pexels. On, on Pexels, it's not copyright free because you need, to, you need to mention the person you got the picture from wherever right. you got the picture, right? Oh. So, <laughs> you might need to go back and do that. But anyways, so I got the photos that I sent you. I got it from this website. Ah. So I don't need to mention anybody that I got the picture from on Battle Elements or whatever Great. because I'm gonna sign up. I've got the license for it. I'm going to sign up. When we get some more weekend. money. No, not tomorrow. <laughs> um, okay. Really In terms of, okay, so graphics. So as you can see, on the graphics, we've got print templates. So if you want a flyer or poster, if you want product mockups, if you want websites. So they do HTML websites, they do WordPress websites. Everything. If you want a logo, a new logo for Vandita, hint, hint. If you get a free logo here and can edit it just for your liking. And I just clicked on logo now and look at that. All these are editable logos. Wow. I mean, I do like it. That. This is I don't know whether logo. she's saying she doesn't like our logo. But, um... No, no, I didn't say that. I'm just saying that. You know, you might have gone to oh, yeah, that's great. You might have gone to Canva, hint, hint, to get your... <laughs> So this is a logo, you just edit it and just write Vandita there. You know? This is a V, you know, anyway. And there's a W. <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's awesome. So these are the ideas, obviously for food, you could get these logos for your clients if they're, in, if they're a food brand. You could charge them, people charge 70 pounds minimum to give a client a logo. Come on guys, don't do it for free. Amen. So, Ooh. so many. Company name, te sorry, I, I saw it, cool. So, so many. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah. This is if, you're for, if you're looking for, what, what did I, I can't remember. What web I'm templates. Doing. So web templates, let's go to web templates. There's that. And then like, what kind of web templates? Food, I guess, for? right? Food, right, okay. So web templates for food. No, he said you can choose. Yeah. No, I'm just saying you need to choose web templates for what industry? Uh, church, well, I don't know. Religious they do organizations. Don't worry, they do everything. Don't be, don't be scared. See? Native. <laughs> non -profit. Heavenly church. Adore church. There you go. Click on that. And then you can actually have a live preview of it. You can actually click on the website. No, you can't. Oh. <laughs> okay. So this is HTML5 website. So I think that code is broken. Uh, so I normally go for WordPress and I make sure it's re responsive because one of them, the, the website moves according to the landscape or yeah. of your mobile device. Mm. Yeah. So we need a template for like, for example, our, uh, our business. So I normally use templates because it saves me time. I'm not in the mood to start trying to figure out how oh. a website works from scratch. Yeah. So I just edit the template. Oh wow, it's so cool. So this is an example. Really good. So this is a new one, and I'll literally when you buy this, when you download this, you don't need to buy it because you pay twenty five dollars, right? You pay twenty five dollars, and all you literally do is you get on here, you change it from New Life Church to whatever name. You just edit the text, and this goes live in less than an hour. And you can charge five hundred pounds for that, couldn't you? Literally, and it costs you take so normally well, you take the customer. Yes. You tell the customer, oh, the website's going to take one week. It's going to be a very complex website. You're asking for this, you're asking for that. No, it's going to take you an hour. But you just spend the one week tweaking here and there, having a nice cup of tea, but you just charge 500 pounds. Um, so we need a ministry website, uh, like a website for a charity. Obviously, we won't be lying and saying that, you know, it's, but we are. We... Obviously, uh, if you're going to say it's going to take one week. You don't want to take one hour. Hunter. You are? You don't want to say it takes one hour. You definitely want to say it takes a week or a minute. No. no, you don't say. We just say. I can get a website done for you within a week. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, even though. There you even go. Though, there you even go. Though. And then you've not said. Then you've not lied. So I, basically what you then do is just edit, right? Yes. So as you see, these pictures are off and battle as well. You can just get the pictures. See, worship team. 
This is for our church. Maybe, maybe we'll see. <laughs> and then we've got a blog here, Mrs. Writer. You can write your blog from Do you actually think I am? Did you like one? Yeah. Not answering, that's yeah. what it means. Right. Uh, so you could connect your Instagram, you can, everything's here. Anyways. Oh, uh, any like non-profit websites, like charities Reggie, or... you can go and have a Sorry, look at Sorry, I'm just... He's, he's getting excited, he's like I mean, a kid in the sweet shop. Yeah, 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 he likes it. He likes his website design and he really enjoys it actually. Like, like, like a bit... one of his favorite uh, things of like what we do. More like, so than the social a, media. A bit like, uh, well, you know kind of what our, what, our, what our charity is about, right? Well, mm. there you go, there's a charity one. Would you not now? Oh, email builder. Uh, that's an email builder. So can I ask a question? Is there any way that we can use this for like band into freelancing, art antics and everything? Uh, let's see. Elevation, there you go. Not found. There we go. Does that mean that when you made it, it wouldn't be live? Or it just means that the preview's not on. See what so looks cool. They're different developers. They're different developers. This is an NGO. looks cool. Right, okay. This, this is very cool. Okay. Can we move back? Can we go? Right. We, this is great, but. Yeah. So that's that. That's what I do. Oh. And, oh. Just, and oh. I, don't, don't get excited. Sorry. That's that cool. looked pretty good. Sorry. So in terms of graphics, do it again to Ange. No. in terms of um, your art stuff, we normally yes. do sort of mock-ups for your art because it brings it to life. People don't want to see flat art. They want to see art that they can imagine in the living room. Right? So all you need is to do your design and it will put it on stuff like this. Oh my goodness. So I don't even have to like actually have it produced. You don't have to go to a photographer to take a picture of your art, just that's, there we go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so you got you've got lighters here, and all you need to do is just put your logo on here. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing lighters. But I'm yeah. just telling you. Obviously, yeah, they're not the things people. you can do. I know, but like, like look at this. This is the pen. So, this so is there a are a few thing. things. So like, I want to do coasters, key rings, maybe cushions. So you, can you just put that in and see what? So let's go back to the back. So what I need to do. Um, what did you say? Let's say cushions. So your art can go in there. That's amazing. So literally I can put key ring in and it'll come up with a key ring. And I can, then that's I can just put cushion, them on. That's a cushion mock up. Then I can put that on my website, yeah? Literally, look at that. Got chairs. Oh, Richie, that's amazing. Cheers. So phone mock up to make it look like someone's looking at your art on the phone. Oh, we could have a mock up. Could you phone covers of my paintings? Yep, and you can do laptop as if somebody's typing and going to your website. Oh my word, Richard, that's amazing. And I'm gonna have it so much easier building websites for people. Yeah, babe, but this is amazing for my. So yes, for hats. These are hats. You can put your art on the hat. Awesome. Clothing design. And also there's a whole kind of like, what, have they got a way of you like having a painting on a wall? Can yes. you? All available. Product, product place, they call it, don't they? So for that one, it will be graphic templates and then uh, living room. And would you put this in the shop or would you put, where would you put this? What shop? So, at the moment, you've got flat, my flat images. What, would you have another page of like product placement or just kind of like that product and then have loads of different angles of that product? Water oyster, do what you want. <laughs> well, yeah, like that and then. So like this, look at that. It's got the living, it's got the lovely lounge. Look at you that. Can, so you can show your painting. So my that could be my your painting. painting. Your painting will be here. <sighs> It's amazing. I was wondered how they did all this. I was like, people were like buying all these paintings. No, they're not. It's all. So the bed's there. You can't touch the bed. It's just edit this. That's, so that's fine. That's brilliant. Oh my goodness. This is going to change our and lives. Actually, you download this and you get access to all of this different settings. 
See? Wow. Different no. settings. So one download gives you all of this. It gives you different settings. Just one download. Well, I feel like we should pay a month. I'm honest. We'll talk about the offline. So, what else do you this guys want to know? Use me. I'm your blackboard. <laughs> this is amazing, right? Okay. Oh, so this is going to change. Wise. Are you kidding? There's tons. She's, if it's, I wonder whether you go and check. Uh, let's just check. I've got no other um, you know, work calls. Look at that. Next to the piano. That's beautiful. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Reggie, would you go upstairs and go and get my work phone mm -hmm. and just check that I've got no calls? Um, <clears throat> honey, please. I'm going to talk about art antics now. So, are we, are we done with landing to freelancing for now? You got an idea? Well, let's Wait. go. Let's go back to what you said about you guys are teaching something that you're learning. You mean like website building? What do you mean? I don't understand. Earlier, you said you guys are learning stuff and yet you're teaching it. Yeah. You so once you perfect how to use Envato elements, like I've just shown you, you've downloaded items. You now know how to edit a flyer on here because obviously you need to learn Photoshop to edit these items. Um, and also, if you don't know how to use Photoshop, they have a tutorial. They have tutorials on how to use all these things. So you don't wow. need to go. You don't need to go. So I'm sign up to it. Like today, in faith, even though, yeah. Well, end of the week. Yeah. Well, right. because my children are homeschooled. Start building a, we we need to start building a website for our ministry and uh, not just for that. Our charity like, for I, our I, business. I'll be able to sell better, I think, when I've got. We, all we this need to have a website. website for our business. You'll need to build do some more website building for me with all this. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, I get you. I get what you mean. Um, we have them battle tops here, which are tutorials, you know, I just call them tops. So, because my children are homeschooled, I, they now know how to use Photoshop, they know how to use all these things to edit videos, they know how to edit videos. You know, you're saying to me that you wanted a professional video, and I was like, yeah, sure, yesterday, but really, truly, you guys can do it yourself. Man. Just click here, uh huh, and then you see how to tutorials. How to code, how to web design, how to do photos. Wow. How to do business. We will teach you about marketing, small business, all of this for free. Wow. This is like awesome. Like Let's start with music. I think Reggie might get into DJing again because music and audio, you get audio production, sound design. Oh wait, DJing, you mean you mean you mean rapping? All of the above, man. You got it for free here, bro. Come on now. Oh, that's brilliant. Recording. Such a great website. Means we need to get all the equipment. Change our lives, but we're not telling people about this website. <laughs> exactly. You don't tell them. Well, they, pay us. They, they pay you, and you now go here to get it done for a quicker time. So you could build a website for yourself from scratch, but it would probably take you a month. But you come here, you get the simple things in life, and oh. so good. I think quite a lot of website builders work with this kind of stuff. They must use it. So if you think about it, for me. One thing I do, so for social media management, later.com. I use later.com. Yeah. I use later.com. I do, but it doesn't that. Yeah. So I use social for later.com. I use them. And let's see. You can only have one. So you can only have one like connected though, can't you? You can't have multiple things connected unless you like. I do have three profiles connected. Look, yeah, this kitchen has got three profiles. Okay. How do you do that? Pay? No, it's free. I've got Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook connected for free. Yeah, I've tried to. But, oh, right. Okay, so all Yeti's Kitchen, not like you have to have one for each account. Like, so say for Vanden to Freelance, you'd have to have one later. You'd, for Art Antics, you'd have another one, right? You'd have to have a different account for. Sorry? I'm listening to you. Yeah, so you'd have to have a different account for each, uh, each email, wouldn't you? So Authentics would have, say, three, four profiles, so like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all for Authentics, and that would be one email for later.com, and then you would have another later.com that would be a yeah. different business. Or you could always pay, and that way you have more than one social profile. Yeah. But then the way is to do, like I just said, right? So you yep. need to sign up for this. Okay, yeah. so, um, so, the, so I presume you download, you just go to, you upload this sorry download from evata to this presumably and then just put it wherever you want okay. huh 
Okay. Eve eight. How is it? Empato. Right. You download. You download from Empato to your computer and then just upload from your computer to later, or can you directly go to later? Okay, so what I do is, for example, this is a scene generator. This is a girl with a lovely t-shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just put Yes's Kitchen on there and I just write Yes's Kitchen Breakfast Club like we spoke about. Yeah, there's different pictures of her doing whatever. Mm -hmm. I just put my stuff here. And when I'm done with that, uh, obviously I, I first click on download and then I put it into Photoshop. So this is what I use for my YouTube thumbnail, right? Uh, so edit that in Photoshop. Once I'm done with Photoshop, I click on save and then I'll upload it later. So would you need to use Photoshop in order to use it in Pato though? Or they have, they use have whatever Photoshop? Tools, use whatever tools, but obviously before you download, you need to look at what you're downloading and what tools you can use to edit whatever you're downloading. So for example, let's awesome. say flyer. Let's say flyer. So the different flyers on your business cards as well. They have business cards. So flyer, mm -hmm. let's say party flyer. Oh, she gets things done so fast. Hmm. And that's what I'm saying because I haven't got time. I, I, need, I need things quickly. So I can't sit there designing a flyer from scratch. I know what you mean. Like, I feel like I spend my life on Instagram. So just, to, just sorry, just coming back on. Just coming back on the website. So if you like download the website template from that, um, you can just, con you can, uh, so that basically you just connect the, the, the website to the web hosting you have, and then you can just start building. I mean, start building, I mean, uh, start editing the pages and stuff and add pages to it. And It's as simple as... Uh... This is gonna make my work for making websites for people much easier. Oh my goodness. This is an example. I'm gonna get laptop traffic. Um, for example, this is a web, uh, flyer. Just literally click on download. I'm going to show you how quick I can edit a flyer. So that's why the other day it took me less than five minutes to design a flyer for myself. <laughs> but then you ask somebody to do it for you and it takes one week designing a flyer. And, you think it's yourself. and you're like, why? <laughs> now I understand why you're just like, there's that long. Um, so waiting for it to download. Let me show you how quick it can be. So that's done. Let's do so much more posting. This. I'm gonna unzip the file. I've unzipped the file, right? You guys watching? Yeah. You unzip the file. You know what I mean by unzipping the file, right? Where? I really know. Because <laughs> you guys were eating well. So I knew you didn't know what it is. <laughs> Okay, so unzip, unzip the file. Meaning that you double click on the file to unzip it, right? It's a zip file. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. So it's when I double click on the file, it unzips it, meaning it shows me the contents of the file. And then this is it. And then as you can see, you double click here, it tells you what font was used. Breaks up in a bit. What is this? What noise is that? Okay, so you get you need to download the font if you want it to look exactly like this. If you're not bothered about what the font looks like, you carry on, right? So, uh, so I click go in here, paste that, and this is the font here. It says download it for free, and then you can download the font for free. Once you downloaded the font for free. Then you go, you see it says PSD, which is Photoshop, right? You double click on that. Double click on that and that's the flyer right there. And you double click on this and just call it Yeti's Kitchen. It's as simple as that. When I'm done with that, put a date, put the time of my event, click on file, click on save. And within five minutes, my flyer is ready now. Wow. So I don't think we will take a little bit longer to get our heads around all of this. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. That you need to get to a point where you're so fast and you're quick with this before you start selling flyers to people. Get me now. Mm. Hope you yeah. get where I'm coming from. Yeah, okay, yeah.
you need to learn to make your own mistakes for yourself and your business first, and then you start selling what you do. Mm. Yeah? Anyways, yeah, so that's that. For so the website, of, let's see what I can find. Uh, what, 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 what. GPS. This is one website I just completed. This is Gus's website. I thought it might be. Sorry? I thought it might be. Yeah, so um, I just finished building this, and this took me, it took me probably two days. But a lot of coffee and a lot of tea. <laughs> so this is the website. And it looks really Wow. Mm. Which template did you use? And that's again, mate. Yeah. Well, so which web template, I'm wondering. Host, you. Do you mean hoster or template? Yeah, template. Hoster, presumably, one, one dot com, right? Why have we got my car? So if I go into my downloads, you get to see all my downloads, all the items I've done. So that was the one I used for yesterday. Ah, okay. Oh. It's all coming out now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and I think I've seen some logos there as well. Hey. So you can see Instagram stories. We have food and restaurants. So my Instagram stories, when you look at it, look at how beautiful this is, man. All for free. Awesome. Wow. Right? So what's next? I don't know if we spend the whole day on No wonder you do them that fast. So then I suppose you spend the time then just writing the story, yeah? Yeah, just write an, write an illustration, write a caption, you know, you need to write captions. Remember yesterday we were talking about who needs bay when you've got Yadis Kitchen. I, that's what yeah. I spent on doing. Yeah. yeah, that's what you end up doing, I'm doing rather The thing is, so with WordPress, sometimes you have an update every month, that means your website is off. How do you do, that, that's annoying, like when people like wanting to be on your website and check it out. And... Yep. That's awesome. That's why you need to have your customers pay you for keeping on top of things. Yeah. You go and get my phone. My work phone. Yeah. Did you go and get That's it? amazing. We're going to work with this. Yeah, Reggie, we're not finished. <laughs> I'll get my phone. Right. So, what's the next question? No, so. Um, yeah, how do you find your so in terms of my art now? Obviously, the product placement is going to be like revolutionary. Amen. I thought I had to invest money into calendars and coasters and all sorts of things, and now I don't. Hey, okay. money that's what I'm here yeah, for. I save so much money. Um, even though, although I was thinking about maybe buying some actual things for my family for Christmas, and but anyway, I don't necessarily have to do that in order to get my stuff online. So in terms of finding customers for my art and working out, no, no, no calls. Um, in, in terms of finding, what? In terms of finding out who my customers are and trying to find my customers and enticing them to buy my products, yeah. How do I do that? Like, because obviously you see my art, you like. Presumably you like my art because you, you know, um, so. And there are people who've bought my art in the past, um, people who buy my cards. Now, I realize that my, my marketing just needs to be better. I know that. And I need to, this, this thing might help me, especially in terms of kind of like backgrounds for like Instagrams and stuff and backgrounds to cards. And it's really weird looking at you without, a, almost without a head. <laughs> Your hair has just disappeared into the, like the background. Anyway, um, so I think Enfato is going to help me a lot. But in terms of building relationships and um, no, but like, just, okay. um, yeah, finding my customers. Any tips on that? Uh, finding your customers. Um, with art, you just need to make sure you're on Instagram. People can see what you do. Um, Hashtags. We have something called a hashtag generator. Okay. Ooh. We have something called a hashtag generator. I'll share my screen again. 
Oh, because I'm I've been making them up for the last. No, you don't need to make them up. Yeah, they save my so many time, much time. And then with later, you can save your hashtags, and that way you don't need to write them out every single time. I wondered if you could do that. You show me how to do that, because so. I Oh, hashtag, no, I, I said hashtag generator, not password generator. You hate yourself. So, do you pay for this? No, it's free. <laughs> Where's it going? Free online. I'm hoping this is working. It's still being silly. It says hash generator, that's why. Hashtag. There you go. Top hashtags for Instagram. That's the first thing that comes up. Right? And then. Oh. You search. And then go to sites to load. So insert your word, meaning, I don't know, Halloween. Well, let's say Christ. Oh, let's say art. Let's say art. You can search for top ones, random ones, or live ones. And there you go. That's how people do it. So it says best random hashtag. These are the best ones. And because Instagram only allows you to put 30 hashtags. So. What is it? Yeah, you only have a maximum of 30. Okay. So okay. You just click on copy hashtags here. Yeah. And then just paste it in later. So for example, I'm going to drag this and put it uh, over here. Right. I'll write my mm -hmm. post. I'll write my caption here. And then you can see saved captions here. When you click on save captions, I've got all my saved captions here. And How do you save it? How do you save the caption? You can add a new one here. Oh, the hashtags. is in save the hashtags, not as in save the... Uh... So you'll obviously write a caption, right? But the hashtags is on top of the caption, isn't it? Because you write a story and then you write the hashtags. Yeah, you save, you write, you, you write the caption right here. You yeah. can your save captions. Yeah. Well, it's not really a saved caption, it's a saved, saved hashtag. I just use oh. this one, saved hashtag. So you would write you would write your hashtags in, copy your hashtags in. Then, as you can see here, as you can see, I've called this yet to yeah. I've called this then, hashtag. I've called this, I've called this catering hashtag. Yeah. I've called this you, on throwback Thursday, which is a Thursday, I have a certain hashtags I use on that day. For delivery, uh, I have a hashtag. For music, I got a hashtag. So when I click on this, let's use that one, music, automatically everything here is about music. Right. And then you can add the odd one if you want. Sort of. Yeah, but this is automatically 30. If you want to add a new one, just click on plus sign and put it, put it here. And then you give it a title, which is Angela's hashtag. Oh, amazing. Put it here and then you click on save. save it. You do social media management. You should be looking at this. Okay. <laughs> Social media is finished. We're done with social media management now. <laughs> well, yeah, do you get me now? Yeah, that's brilliant. Really good. I like that picture of planting. And you also need to obviously put some, you, put, you might be worried that you can't put emojis. You can put emojis even though you're not on your mobile device. Do you think emojis help with the store, with the um, caption? Yeah. It, it helps with the caption, it makes it sound friendly rather than write, write, write. People are not bothered about writing, you know. When you finish writing a line, put something like sticking your tongue out or blow them a kiss. This makes it look fun. Okay. You and then there's also the bit about first comment. There's a thing about it. Um, it's yeah. an algorithm. If you put a first comment within the first minute of you posting your post, it makes it rank higher. People can see your post more. Oh, so that's what it means. So when you see a first comment, well, people normally put hashtags in there. But it doesn't matter what you put in there. You put hashtags in there, you put hi, you could put wow. It really doesn't matter. That's why people comment to themselves. I always wondered why. That's why they do it. Yeah. 
Could you comment to yourself it's not going to look awkward? Yeah, I don't care if it looks awkward. It just means that more people that my followers are going to get to see my post. If I don't put a first comment, nobody's going to see my post because it's so busy on Instagram. My goodness, that's I'm doing, <laughs> doing pretty a lot better than I thought then. <laughs> um oh that's amazing so use emojis and post first comment it raises your um visibility okay and then you also need to add location meaning that people around you get to see the art you do right okay so you add look and add locations important as well yep post first comment raises let's see okay uh you also want to do link in bio but that's obviously a chargeable service link in bio just means that people can then go to your website or click on the link in your that you've tagged to the picture they can click you on the link and then they can buy your art if they like it whatever you have to pay for that don't you uh, i think so but it says you don't you have to upgrade you have to upgrade to add link in bio. yeah presumably you don't pay for I don't. You don't no. So it. a lot of people, so I did people, that. people on Instagram not to buy stuff. They're there to just have fun. So I've stopped paying for stuff. That's true. People are there just to have fun. It's true. And you need to push those people there to have fun too. So if you think about it, this, that's the question. When, uh, when you see a brand or a business on social media, what they're just doing is brand awareness, not brand conversion. Those are two different okay. things. Brand awareness is why we're on social media. If everything you do on social media, if it's all about buy, 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 you're not going to have a lot of followers. If you're yeah. all about, ha, 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 it's a rainy day today, I feel like having a glass of wine, you have a lot of followers. Don't sell stuff on social media. That's not that so how do, you, where do, how do you then get them to go to your website and to the point where they want to buy? You have that in your, in your, in your bio, right? You have that in your profile. Like your website yeah, my, my bio. Babe, can you pass me my... Um, my Kindle, don't throw. And also, in uh, later, you have hashtag suggestions. So you need to. Yeah. Have, you have, you have so you have to pay for that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in the middle of writing a, a for a story. So, uh, but basically, it's a little. Um, there's a girl called Kate, Katie Coroy. I don't know if you've come across her, and she does lots of Instagram kind of tutorials and stuff. So I've learned some stuff on there. Um, and she talked about how your bio. So my bio is like, I do this, I do that, I do the other. And it's a bit like a little, little website sort of thing. And it's got my link, my bio link in there as well. As in the link to my website. Um, which some people do, because occasionally I get somebody going from my Instagram to my website. But clearly I've not bought anything yet. Um, but yeah, how do you get people to then um, go to your website? Just put it on your bio, like I said, but the thing is, a lot of tutorials, because if you're teaching a lot of people how to draw or how to paint, it's, it's giving them value and they feel indebted to click and give you something back. Oh, really? Yes. So if I do a tutorial, for example, on Instagram, it will make them want to buy some A little, little tutorials, because you don't want to teach everything. Remember, Instagram is a long, is a long journey. So it's a clip. Those are a little one minute tutorials on how to make your painting better. I don't know, just with different things. So I came up with about a hundred titles of things that I teach, you know, different types, hundred titles of how to paint, you know, different things. You know, and just go through it where one minute short videos of things that you know are wrong that people do artist wise or people, um, common misconceptions that people have about painting, meaning that, oh, People that are left-handed paint better than people that are right-handed. Approach those kind of topics and just teach them. Okay. Go live, you know. People want to see you live when you're painting. Yeah. I did do a lot of lives and it, it actually, I mean, especially on Facebook. Okay. I mean, what's, how then do you, so presumably it's a similar sort of thing as Facebook, Instagram or not? Uh, Instagram, I believe, has more engagement. Facebook is all about the more money you spend, the more engagement you get. All right. And even if you have people following you on, or they like your page on Facebook, they still wouldn't see your posts. Uh, even though with the best hashtags and stuff, they still wouldn't see your posts until you actually boost that post. And then you're That's following 
and then you follow up and see what you're posting. So it's just a long end, long winded thing. So yes, it's free to join the platform, but it has become heavily monetized at the moment. Wow. Uh, so but that's that, and um, I don't think there's anything else on the social media management. Uh, so yeah, no. could, well, that's really helpful. You could generate hashtags, and um, one other thing you can also do is you can also get into comments. Uh, on average, it's advice that you spend two hours a day on Instagram looking at other people's profiles, following other people in your circle. So, for example, you go to Yeddy's Kitchen, use the hashtag Manchester. Because I'm in the Manchester area, I want to follow everything exciting happening in Manchester. As you see, on the Manchester, we've got 15 million posts today. I don't know if it's today, but just generally. Right? So, I go to Manchester... And it's saying these are the top posts, right? So wow. if, I, if I click on this top post, yeah, continue to this kitchen. If I click on this top. How do you, oh, hang on, hang on. How do you do this on your um your laptop? Because I've, how do you be able? Is this because you can't change anything, right? On um, you can comment, you can comment, you can post, you can post an IGTV. On We're on. On your laptop, because yeah. you can't do various things on your laptop, can you? With Instagram, you can, most I of it's from post. I can't post, but I can post an IGTV. I think, but I can definitely okay. post an IGTV. I normally post my videos using my laptop because I can't be to send it to my phone. So how do you? Right, and obviously you just do it straight from you do to from later, don't you? So at later, I don't use video because later doesn't do video. You have to pay extra to use video on later. Ah, yeah, of course I remember that now. So that's why you do it straight to IGTV from your laptop. So I literally just go to my profile here. Yeah. When I go to my profile here, I then go to IGTV or Reels. So I've got the video on my laptop. I just go to IGTV and I click on upload. There you go. Oh, okay. So because you can't do posts, can you know? I don't know. Let's see. No, you can't. No, but in terms of posts, you can just do it from later. You can comment though. You can comment and respond to people's comments, but you can't post. And like, presumably. Yeah, you can post them like this. Okay, so in terms of following people, in terms of getting followers... So this is what I do in terms of getting followers. So you put the hashtag of your niche. Uh, so like I said, my niche is Manchester. Anybody in Manchester, I want to know what they're up to. So Manchester Food is another hashtag because I'm in the food industry. So I just click on Manchester Food. So you want to click on Manchester Art or I don't know, wherever you stay. So this is food. This is top posts on the food. It says most recent ones. It gives you a category. These are the most recent posts, right? Um, apart from most recent, I think that's it. Top posts are most recent. Cool. So let's go back. So these are top posts. I don't really want to see top posts because they're going to be so busy with so many comments that they might not see my comment. So this is the most recent one. This person has just posted. It's called Mina's Kitchen. And it's only got one like. And she only posted it 15 minutes ago. I can now leave a comment to say, wow, amazing. And just post. Two hours a day, Angela. Just do this. And the person will feel bad. They might then come to your profile and then click on a like as well. And then you begin to get more likes and you might start getting people outsourcing artwork to you because they're so busy on their side. Mm. So are you going to give a like? For this? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to give her a like. And then I'm not going to follow her because she's a competitor. Yeah. <laughs> ah, but she'll follow you? She might do. She might not. I don't follow my competitors. So, I, I mean, what do you think mine would be, obviously? I said, yours is art, isn't it? So, art, Manchester art. I don't know, where are you based? Gemsdale, so... So, Manchester art, there you go. Okay. Right, under Manchester art. So, this is a top post for art. Most recent one is this one. And what am I going to say? It says it's got four likes an hour ago. It's wow. horrid. What did you use? And then that causes them to have a conversation. So you, because I, I follow another artist, mm -hmm. um, because obviously I want buyers, not artists, to be my followers, you know? So obviously one thing you should put in mind is if, if okay, we go to top posts, right? Click on this. Yeah. Got 185 people have liked this post. Yeah. But this is do that. This is about wool, not art. So let's go to the next one. So this is about flowers. She just took a picture. So I'm going to go with art. 
This one is definitely That's an actual painting, yeah. So this is an actual painting. It's got 309 likes. So I'm going to click on all the likes. And these are all the people that like art. So I'm going to start following them. That's what I do. Right? I'm going to start following them. Or if I don't follow them, I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to start liking their posts too to say, wow, beautiful. I also paint, whatever. Okay. So, or you leave a comment, you know. But that's very long-winded. You can always automate that process. How do you automate that process? Oh, you gotta pay for that kind of information, man. You gotta yeah, see, that's it, isn't it? Oh, you gotta pay for that kind of information, did you say? <laughs> well, yeah, you can automate the process of liking and commenting because I'm not, I'm, I'm not sitting on Instagram for hours. I ain't, gonna, I ain't, gonna, I ain't got time. So one thing you can do is you can automate the commenting process. You can automate the liking process. You can also automate the process of searching for hashtags that match your niche. And then when it searches for the hashtag that matches your niche, you can then automate that. It follows the people with that hashtag. So I can automate the process of anybody in Manchester, follow them. Mm. Anybody that uses the location echoes, because I'm based in echoes. Anybody that uses the location echoes in their post, follow them by default. So you use, use a oh. website or something for that? Because they're, they are a potential customer. No moment of the truth, this is what I use. Combin. Combin? I spell it? C Combin. And is it, is it, how do you go okay? You pay, obviously, uh, you pay in like I said. You can tell it to do this, advanced Instagram search. You can ask it to follow, follow people based on gender, language, audience size. So many things. See? You can only, right. Repetitive, repetitive actions automation. So meaning, obviously, repetitive actions are like liking, commenting. So if I, I can automate, for example, I'm in the catering industry. So anybody that says I said yes as a hashtag or right to be as a hashtag, yes, this kitchen is going to be in there saying, wow, congratulations. If you need a caterer, hit me up. I'm not going to be searching for that every day. I haven't got the time. So I'll just tell this guy, to, this website to do it for me. There we go. I'm always wondering how this. And then the person can DM me, send me a DM and say, oh, you left a comment to say you're a caterer. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, I did. But I can't remember doing that. Because <laughs> Because you didn't, because you used a computer to do it. See, no. multiple, multiple Instagram ma accounts management. Oh. So you can also find out who doesn't follow you back and you cannot follow them by default. Yes. You got time for people not following me back. Because it's, it's going to look a bit weird if you're following 4,000 people and you've only got 500 followers. No, exactly, yeah. So you can also follow people for you. Yeah. This is amazing. And how much does this cost? Mm, not cheap. About ten dollars or something like that. There you go. There's a free option. You can search fifty times. You can do two hundred daily action limits, meaning you can have it do two hundred things for you per day. One Instagram account management. See, you can oh, even, you can do DM. I never knew they were doing DM. See coming soon. You can actually do DMs as well and comments in the DM. That's amazing. There you go. That's brilliant. I'm gonna look into that. Um all right, so the last question. Yeah, so that's great about Instagram and stuff. So Facebook you need to pay kind of Um for your ads, Pinterest definitely makes you in Pinterest. Pinterest, yeah. Um like I said, make it look good. Make it look good using a battle or uh, generator. People love scene generators where your art is in the middle. Oh. Where your art is in the middle of the flower, flowers and stuff. So like this one, this is beautiful. Your art is there and just on this. Oh, so all what I do with my products, I can literally just upload all of that onto Pinterest. So what you do is you paste your art on here, make it look nice first. Then, yeah, yeah. You, then you put it on Pinterest so people could save your pin. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh, so I Pinterest need to find a supplier that does telephone.
backs of telephones because I don't even know about that. So yeah, so there's Pinterest and then there's obviously um, there's Facebook groups like you did yesterday. Join Facebook groups, comment on there. Uh, SEO wise, you need to have a blog on every website you build and just upload content for the kind of customers, target audience you're looking for. So for example, remember yesterday I said to you that my name on, on Google is Yeti's Kitchen. If you type Yeti's Kitchen on Google, we call ourselves African Restaurant Manchester because we want anybody that puts in the word African Restaurant Manchester, we will be the first. So, look at that. Okay. So when you put our yes. name in Kitchen in Google, it says African Restaurant Manchester. So this is something we thought about when we ordered the name from the very beginning. All right. Can you put in our tactics and see what it says? I don't know what it's put recently and see what you think the, the keywords should be. Our tactics, I don't know. Who are you targeting? I'm, I'm targeting people in Manchester, you know? I mean, that's a problem, isn't it? It's like, I don't know who I'm targeting. I mean, I, ideally, people around here, because then it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg to send to them. Oh, can we post it? So when you say people not around here, I, I, I don't see that as an issue. We post art. Yeah, no, you can, but... It's going to cost them more money, isn't it? If they got right. money, Angela. Stop thinking about their money. You worry about your product. All right. Right? When I'm, when I'm selling my product, I, I, I customer calls me to say, oh, they've had calls, for, like the person from Stockport that said they wanted to order. I'm, I'm sure I mentioned that to you, right? Yeah. I, I'm not worried about the price. I'm going to send them the price, and if they can't pay, tough. Move on. <laughs> All right. But I'm not thinking that, oh my God, that's a bit far. Are they going to be able to afford it? I can really do stuff for. I can't do stuff for. I can do Heathrow. I can do Nigeria for all I care. Give me the money, mate. <laughs> yeah, all right, fair enough. Right. So get on Yale, right? Get on Yale if it's free. I believe it's free, but then I get, I get on Yale. And what I then do is, one minute, let me find out what this is. What's the kitchen? Can you give us a call back a moment, but I'm on school. Can you, can you, yes, please. Can you give us a call back on about six? Is that all right? Thank you very much. Um, what was I saying? Yell. What was I saying? About Yell. Yeah, so they have a free option. You sign up with them. But possibly give them a wrong phone number because they know how to pester. They know how to pester and pester. Um, so oh. they, they pester you because they want you to sign up for the paid version. And sometimes if they pester and you say no, you're not willing to go for the paid version, they can decide to block your, your listing from going live. Somebody can text you that. Um, but it should be free to sign up with Yelp. But somebody might decide to get petty with you because you didn't sign up for the blocked your listing from going live. So sign up, go live, and don't pick up your calls again because whatever calls they've given you, just tell you to sign up for two hundred pounds a year option. But it helps your SEO if you're listed on Yelp and also uh, directories. So you go with art directories, food directory. Um, Or would I say local business listing? I think that's what local business directory. There you go. Uh, it says Google Roll. I don't know what that is. Uh, you go on there and you sign up. But you might want to have a dummy, dummy, um, dummy email address. It's just that you Uber all. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to go with them. I'm just say local business directory and you list your business on there. Ah. So local business directory, and you list your left website on every single one that shows up here. Mm -hmm. Right? So for example, we've got blog.hotspot, 15 online business directories, click on that. When you click on that, you sign up. What was it called? Bloghubspot.com. Yeah, I'm just saying you don't you don't it doesn't matter what names. When you when you search, you might not find these options. Right? Okay. So it says business directory, 
find local businesses in Salford and Worsley. I'm going to click on that. As long as it's free, I'm going to sign up. Yeah, as long as it's free, I'm going to sign up to this business directory. All of this is the more business, the more business directories you list your business in, the more you're found in Google. Right, helps your SEO. Yes, helps your SEO. So typically, you pay somebody on Fiverr.com to do this for you because it's just it's a lot of time. Ah, so this is something that we could do for you potentially, but imagine you've already done it. Yeah, I have. So, but it it, it does it never it's never it's an it's a never exhausted list. You know, there's new directories coming up every time. And it just it gets to a point where you're just tired of paying. So it it could be a job for Reggie, for example. So literally, just have a dummy email because you don't want to come into your main email because then they begin to email you to tell you to upgrade your account. And you're literally getting one million emails telling you to upgrade your account because you don't want for the free direct so, An email address that actually exists or... No, no. no what? For example, for Yetis Kitchen, the food at yetiskitchen.com is the main email address that accounts will have. So if there's any important information about businesses like COVID and closing down, they email me on that. But for local business directories, I just need an email like directories at yeskitchen.com and I know I never go into that email. You know, it exists, but it's not something I check. But then won't it show you that directories at yeskitchen.com on the actual directory? No, it would it would ask you what you want to show on your listing and then ah. you email on the okay. listing. Okay. So that's what I do in terms of that. And then you need to pay for oh uh, what's it called? White hat. What's white hat? Black. Black. Yeah, what blacklisting and whitelisting. I don't know, I don't know what is it. So whitelisting is you need to pay somebody for whitelisting. Just research that in your time. Pay somebody to whitelist your business name, right? So meaning that it goes to every business directory and yeah. it should be a while. I don't know. Anyway, um if you go to fiverr.com. Yeah, fiverr.com. The double R anyways. We'll say they could put your website on your website. So, oh, so should free, I should um, sign up for Fiverr.com, should I? Yeah, so get your business on the first page of Google. Be careful with the website, with the password you give these guys. As soon as they're done with their ranking of the website, change your website password immediately because they will sell your information. They sell your information? Yeah, sell it on to people that will hack your website. What? Well, yeah, they're, they're just people. They don't know you. They're just doing a service. So why should not? Why should they not? Yeah, but why would they sell it to people who would hack your website? That's just it wrong. Be, it could even be them that are trying to hack your website, and then they, you'd have to pay them a million pounds. They they know that you've got money. They're trying, and then obviously they know you want your business name. So, for example, when I when I signed up with a website called Food Hub, they wanted access to my Google account, my my Yet to Kitchen Google account, because I signed up. It's just like signing up for Just Eat. You know, just eat when I signed up with them, they didn't ask me for access to my Google account. But when I asked them, well, why are you asking? Because then Google sent me an email to say, Food Hub are trying to get access to your Google account. So we permit them to add access to it as the admin. I was like, hell no, don't permit them to add access to my Google account because that's where I have all my reviews. That's where I have everything. That's where I have my YouTube account. That's where I have my whole business. My whole business presence is on Google. Uh, but I was like, hell no, don't give them access. But if somebody, God forbid, touch wood. If anybody got access to my YouTube, my, my, my Google account at Yes Kitchen right now, asking me for twenty thousand pounds, I might pay you twenty thousand pounds because that's my business name, name down the bin if they delete it, right? So if you give them access to your website and your business, your website is making lots and lots of money. Imagine having seven thousand orders of your artwork, you know, and then somebody suddenly because you gave them access to do SEO a long time ago, about a year ago. And you forgot to change the password. And the person is now looking at the back end of your website and they're like, oh, she's making a lot of money now. Time to hack her website because I know her password from a year ago. And then the person hacks your website and then they're asking you for 500,000 pounds. You would pay that 500,000 pounds because you want your business name back. It takes a yeah. lot. 
This is illegal, surely. The police it's would illegal, get it. But there's nothing the police can do about it. Where, where are you going to find them? They're online. They're not, they're not physical entities. That's just so evil. Um, right, so the moral of the story here is that you need to change your password every so often. So, uh, not ever so often. You need two-factor authentication on your Gmail or whatever website service you use. You need two-factor authentication. And you need to change your password as soon as you're with the SEO stuff when you're back on the website. For you. So this is what I meant by white hats. I will provide white hats, SEO high backlink websites for you, blah, 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 for 16 pounds. This person said they'll provide backlink for you. Yes, I don't so, really understand this whole whitelisting, blacklisting thing, but. <laughs> whitelisting, blacklisting, white hat SEO, just pay for it. It's for 50 pounds and you know you're good. They will list your website <laughs> for 150 websites. It's just like 115. They will list your website. 15 pounds. Yeah. For white hat. Look at it. You just look at it researching yourself, right? It's not because yeah. my white hat one is cheaper, you know? Um, and it's Whitelisting. Yeah, there would whitelisting backlinks. No, not whitelisting, white hat. White hat SEO backlinks. SEO backlinks. Yeah, this is it right here. SEO backlinks. Okay. And this is in terms of getting my website more out there. Yeah, so they, what they do with this 151, they'll put your website on 150 directories on your behalf, and you don't have to physically click and do it yourself. Ah. So, that's what they do. Uh, so that's that. What else? What else? Uh, apart from whitelisting, obviously, like I said, join lots of groups. Go on Eventbrite or meetup.com and create a meetup group where people can meet you virtually. And, or you can join art groups in your area, right? So you can find art in, I don't know, Manchester. People that love art or people that love, see art, there you go, art. I would say that. And this is what helps your SEO improve and your website get people to get to know about your business. That's what you told me, right? Yeah, yeah. So to do that, you need to join groups. Yeah. So, see, so drink and draw. There you go. Somebody's going for that on 18th of November. Hmm. So, Art for Enjoyment, this is in Echoes, on the 4th of November, which is tomorrow, online. So, would you go to these places virtually and just hang out with the people? Uh, online, you just join them, it's free to join them, and you just see how they do it, and then you might get to know them, and then they might say, you know what, why don't you host the next one? Because you've got your arts pretty exciting, and then you host the next one, and they'll invite their friends, and then they might want to buy your art. Let's join them. Okay, clever. Hey, man. See for new members and old members. So are you on any of these for your business? Yep. So that's that. I do meet up at home a lot. I do. Can't wait to start on all the new stuff. You've no, Reggie. And she's given me like a whole other treasure chest of stuff since you were upstairs. Yeah, that was for your business. No, nope, not just a, not just okay. my business. It will work for our business too. So that's that. And um, what else do I do? Uh, like I said, every business opportunity out there in terms of when people email me at Foodie Kitchen, I'll come to say, "Oh, we're a new business, and we wanted to take a picture of your business." I say, "Yeah, come take a picture because whenever <laughs> it comes to my business, it helps my business." I'm not trying to charge anybody for anything. Um, apart from that, uh, I also, what about pop-ups? You might want to do some art pop-ups, COVID pending. Ooh. Art pop-ups would be... Pop -up, that's cool. Yeah, but what do you mean? It means you hire a venue. Somebody might have a restaurant that's been empty and nobody's using it for such a long time. You can say, you know what, I've got a list, I've got some friends 
that might want to, you know, you might want to go London, you know, because you know a lot of people like London and they might be willing to spend more money down, down, down here who don't want to spend money. You know, you could have a pop up in London to say, you know, Art Antics London. And then we're going to be coming down with our art. Do you want to book some tickets? And then you don't have to have a venue to yourself. You could have, you could rent out a, rent out a restaurant. But the thing is, the restaurant might be willing to give you the venue for free because they know that when your friends come around, they might want to have a drink. And then they make money from that. Get it? I've done it, you know. Oh, I have, now. Yeah, I've done art pop ups. Like I've done about six, seven. And I've sold at them as well. So, yeah. So, there you go. So, you can have pop ups in different locations where you know they've got the money. So, you might want to do it at pop ups in Chester. In locations where they've got money. Yes. So Chester, Chester and Manchester, the footballers and stuff are there. So, you might want to have a pop up there in Chester because they've got money to buy your stuff. But, and then how would you get people to go who you, or, or you just use this whole time doing Eventbrite meetup and all of these things? And by, in that time, you will have. Join, you join meetups in that area because you know they're the affluent areas. That's how we can do stuff with the ministry and stuff as well. Yes, we can use this for the ministry. You do Facebook, ads, do Facebook ads in Chester so that a lot of people, you might begin to do a lot of online events in Chester because so that you know that, you know what, you're choosing an area where they've got lots of money rather than doing online things and you know, you're not targeting anyone. And whenever you boost your post on Facebook, you're boosting your post to those in Chester because you're choosing the kind of target audience you want to buy your stuff, right? Oh, and you can you can say the area you want to boost your post in. Did you know that? Yeah. I've done that. Okay. I've done that with a business. Uh... Okay. Good. So that's that. Oh, Flip, I've done within 40 miles of, uh, of Scalmer still. But yes, these. No, for us. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. So another one is Airbnb experiences. There's something called Airbnb experiences. So Yeti's Kitchen is currently on your, on Airbnb. I'm not sure if it's still live with COVID and everything. So we, what I do is I charge 40 pounds per head uh, for people to learn how to cook Nigerian food. Uh, and I charge them for that for two hours, right? So they get they get two course meal, they get to come into your kitchen, they learn how to cook, they chill and chat with their friends, they come with their friends, a group of six, maximum of a group of six and that. So literally the same thing, same thing with you. You could have people come around and they learn how to paint and you give them some snacks, vegan food. You can even do vegan groups, you know? People love this vegan stuff, so. Vegan, vegan lunch and paint, you know, that could be a thing. And then people watch you paint and they could eat vegan food and you can introduce them to it. You charge them a ticket for it. Would you have to do that at a particular venue or even in your house? You could do it in your house if you're comfortable with that. Um, you think you could do some of this stuff online even? You could do it online, obviously, if it's painting, you can do it online. But if you want to do it, if you don't want to use the house, the rented location as well but like i said places to rent are not that expensive if you look well and if like they buy food from the place where you're doing it quite often they'll do it for free won't they like cafes and stuff might be willing for you to just come and yeah, yeah 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 so there's so many places you can do this food for free so, uh, but like i said airbnb experiences is all about experience people do people do tourist jobs which is you know what a tour of manchester and it's not they don't get a certificate for it. They just know Manchester a lot and they give away their skill for, for, for money. They take you around Manchester and all the hotspots. Actually, when I initially came to Manchester, I went on an Airbnb experience with somebody who took us around Manchester to show us all the places in Manchester. And we paid him like 50 quid for an hour or something like that. But people who make wow. money, who pay money on Airbnb experience because they want an experience or something. So it could be vegan hotspots. So all around the world in a toilet can come on Airbnb experience. I'm writing it down, why not? So Airbnb experiences. Look at this. So online experiences. See, so go on a local safari. Oh wow. Bake French pasties. That's it. 14 pounds per person. Just a bake. Literally, people someone's just going on there and paying to do something to watch something pretty much. 
So explore the pink city of Jaipur. That's eight pound per person. Now look at this. Follow a black, I don't know, a plague doctor in Prague. We're just going to follow him online. On the, it happens at 5.30 and 7 o'clock today. And a thing. Look at that. Animal sanctuary, virtual experience, 16 pound per person. Just an animal sanctuary. Just look at animals, Angela. Come on now. Look at that. Living room legends. Scavenger hunt game. Wow, we can get ideas on here for our restaurant stuff. Make Mexican street tacos with a pro chef, fifteen pound per person. Wow. Meet my bees, twenty one pound, just to meet his bees. I'm not going to meet them in person. <laughs> what am I paying you twenty one pounds for? I could almost put like an online painting session and just put it on here and see who yep. turns. Airbnb experiences is the way forward now, man. Wow. Look at that, 17 pound per person just to make pasta at home. Really, only? <laughs> so, there you go. Airbnb experiences, come on now, get on there. Wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, what else do I do for that business? So, apart from that, if you get a website, get, make sure you have a blog on your website. Uh, you know, I do, but then how do you get people to like, what do you put on your blog to get people to go to? Oh, okay. go. Reggie, Reggie, chill. Templates. Yes, all right, Reggie. Say again. So when I, I've got a blog calendar. You have a blog calendar? I've got topics on there. That I see. Let's see. So here you go. So, blog posts. so I've got a list of titles that I have searched that are high ranking. Ah, so this, so is blog. Blog. this is my blog calendar for Yeti's Kitchen. Oh, wow. So, as you can see, Nigerian food delivery, that's a high ranking keyword. How do you find your keywords then for these? I'll, I'll come to that. Uh, this is a high ranking keyword, Nigerian food delivery. So I said to my blogger, if somebody writes for me, well, hint, hint, somebody, I've got somebody else to write for me now. Hey. <laughs> are you, you talking about me? Of course I'm talking about you. Oh, my word. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm not talking about her. Anyways, <laughs> so, Nigerian food delivery, that's the post is meant to go live in September. Order Nigerian food, September. Uh, Nigerian takeaway, best African restaurant in October. I've literally got it like that. But, so that goes live on my website in that order. So all these posts have been written already. They've been written by whoever's written them, and I'm just posting them on my website. Okay. And all of this will help with my SEO because the more you update your website, Google knows your website is active. Versus if you've got a website and you've not updated it in the ah. last if you've not updated that website in the last years, like all this yeah, the more you update your website, the more it goes to the top, right? the more your website goes to the top. If you don't update your website because you said to yourself, oh, all the information on my, on my website is correct. My address is still the same. My telephone number is still the same. So I don't need to update anything on my website. You're going to be up on page 15 of Google. Yeah, of course. So the reason why you have a blog on your website is you keep posting something every week, every two weeks on your blog because there's nothing to update on your website, right? Two a month, right? You do? Do you do two a month? No, every once a week you post a blog. Oh, wow. Post something about your business. You know, because like I said, if you don't have a blog, there's really nothing to update on your website that often. Right? Mm -hmm. So the reason why you have a blog is it gives you something to update. If you don't have a blog, there's nothing to update on your website. Oh, well, there is. There's loads, but yeah. I'm just saying, if your business information okay. is the same, your address is the same, your telephone number is the same. Yeah, no, no, no. I get you, I get you. There's nothing yeah, yeah. to update, but when you have a blog, then you have something to update. So that's my blog calendar, and I follow that and post it back. In terms of keywords, how do you find keywords? I use Google AdWords. Yeah, I tried to use this, but I couldn't work out. You just need to have an account. Put your credit card in there, but you know you're never going to go. You're never going to advertise. That's it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So I sign in and they would ask you for a credit card and act like you're going to put, put together an ad, but you're just doing that to see the high ranking keyword. So, so you start a campaign. New campaign. Yes, so let's say website traffic. You could select anything. But there's other ways you can do this. There's um, SEO. Right, right, right. I like the keywords. SEM smush or something like that. High ranking keywords. There's, obviously, there's other easier ways of finding high ranking keywords that you don't. Keyword planning. SEM rush or something like that. Is it good? Yeah, SEM rush. So keyword search. So seven day free trial, you sign up and you cancel. Oh, okay. So like for yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, you just search for keywords that pertain to your business. It will tell you how many searches are carried out for that key term you're trying to use. And then that's what you will then use for your blogs. So for example, on mine, um, my target audience, for what is kitchen, I realized that they're searching, a lot of people, because they're searching for food on the blog posts. Uh, so when you see catering Manchester, a lot of people are searching for this word, catering Manchester. I want to be able to put a post on my website about catering in Manchester. A lot of people search for top restaurants in Manchester. That's a key, key term they use based on my search on Google AdWords and SEM Rush. People search for top restaurants in Manchester. So I'm going to put a blog post on my website called Top Restaurants in Manchester, of which I would list other websites or other businesses. I would list my competitors by all means. I would say Top Restaurants in Manchester Roots. I'm going to list my competitors on there. But I'm going to write number one, Yes, it's Kitchen, and then I'll put my competitor as number 10. <laughs> okay okay so same way when you say top restaurants in manchester i don't know top places for kids to go you know these are kind of things and when people say top places for kids in manchester there are many websites family friendly things to do in manchester automatically i'm going to create a blog post called family friendly things to do in manchester i'm going to call it for my blog post that can you do that is that okay Yes, it is, because then what happens is when people are searching for family-friendly things to do in Manchester, they end up on your website. And then whilst they end up on your website reading your blog post where you're recommending places to go in Manchester, they might see your art and buy your art. Mm. You see? So I, I put things like this, the family-friendly things to do in Manchester, and they might like it so much that on their way to the Trafford Centre, because I told them that there's lots of things for kids in Trafford Centre, they might say, you know what, her food looks really nice. When we've done with the Trafford Centre, we'll come and eat at her restaurant. Yeah. So what I mean? But point is, my website now becomes a one-stop hub. And the thing is, the more blog posts you put, if you're getting a lot of traffic, people will begin to pay you for adverts to put on your website. Even though you're an art artist, they might start putting ads on your website. You know that, Angela, right? No, I didn't. But that's really useful. But yeah, people put ads, like, if you go to Manchester Evening News, and then you begin to charge people for a block of your website, Manchester Evening News. I'll show you what I mean. you see ads on their website. So, can you see advertisement? Can you see that? Yeah. Can you see that? This is Vista Print. You see that? Yeah. You people for this block, this advert, advert, I don't know, block. You charge people for this advert block, you charge yeah. people for this advert block. 
You know why it's Vistaprint? Because Reggie's been designing things this morning. Because your computer knows what you've been doing, right? And it gives, sends you adverts of what... Vistaprint would have paid Manchester Evening News to have the adverts over here. Yeah. Well, Vistaprint won't have contacted Manchester Evening News if they don't have enough traffic. So the yeah. market will get to your website, you will then begin to get emails that have nothing to do with your art. And people will be like, you know what, we realize you've got a lot of traffic. Are you able to put up an advert bit on your website for us and we will pay you for it? And yeah. not only that, you can also sign up with Google where Google can automatically advertise on your website. You sign up and you give them your website and they would decide what part of your website to put adverts for you and they just put that's it and how much is that do you do that is how how much is that they you obviously decide how much you want to get paid it's just like youtube they, they decide how much they pay for each ad. okay okay and then obviously you've got youtube as well get on youtube and uh youtube helps you help with your seo the more you post on youtube the more you rank higher in google And then lastly, Simon Coulson, a lot of things that I've not even done with his course yet because his course is so wide that um, it's just so much information I'm, I'm struggling, you know. There's going to be a digital marketer with an accredited who knows this stuff. He's been in this business for, I don't know, for probably 11, 15 years. So he's not just jump on the bandwagon teaching how to do internet marketing or digital marketing. He's been mm -hmm. before it became a thing. Uh, internet business school, he, 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 he does it right. Because I bought quite a few courses before and when you open up the course after you pay, you listen to stuff and you're like, yeah, I know that already. Yeah, I know that already. <laughs> you know, uh, with, him, name, right? with him, he was the first person I listened to and I was like, yeah, I know that already, but you're going at a deeper depth that I never thought of. So there's him, and then let me see, digital marketing guys. Somebody else that's a lot cheaper than Simon Coulson. David Bain. David Bain. He's, he's, I bought his book on Audible. Signed up for Audible at the moment. Oh yeah. David Bain. I bought his book. It's a lot cheaper than Simon Coulson, and his information on there is just mad. Yeah, marketing now. And at the moment, it's for free trial for 30 days. His book is five hours and 54 minutes long. And literally, he gives you step by step what you should do. How to start up your website, where to register, what to do. So everything I've covered here, he covers. But wow. you know, and the thing is, like I said, for him, I felt like he said so much in this book that I was just like, whoa, that is so amazing that I, I, I am, I'm, I call myself a medium knowledge internet guru. But when what? I... But medium i'll say medium you know uh but when i listen to his stuff i was just like this guy is giving away so much free content you know because he could have made this book a 10 a 10 part series that's how much information he had in there he could have made it a 10 part series and i would have kept on buying it but he put so much information in just one book so i, I love him for that so that as well as gary v these are people that I listen to that uh, follow him on Instagram and he would put you just follow Barry, Barry what? Dana Chuck. Yeah. Follow him on Instagram, follow him on YouTube. Step by step, he'll tell you how to get your business off the ground, what you should do, where you should register. Gary V. Um, 
what else? And I think I think in terms of podcast, but the podcast is all, all part of SEO as well. I use Anchor for my podcasts, and what they do is they make podcasting easy because you just record it on their platform and they distribute it to and how many how many platforms. And what do you know? How do you know what to podcast about? Similar thing to the the, the blog. That's in the blog, right? So sorry. So if I look here, let me, where's my phone? At the moment, at the moment, I literally just sat down to think of the famous questions I get asked. Like you've got me quite a few questions on this conversation. So based on the questions that people ask me a lot of. I just made a list of uh, YouTube videos to show you for. I'll send this now so you can see. Pocket Cast, Overcast, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast. It's sharing my content as Yes is Kitchen and all these platforms automatically. So I don't need to record on this mobile device. Uh, automatically, I click on post and it shares it to 10 other places for me. Good SEO, I would say, and it's free. Wow, that's amazing. And so, okay, can, can we go to my, um, my, I don't know how much longer you've got left, but can we go to my website so that we can just, so that um, you can just get an idea of maybe where on earth I start? <laughs> uh, what's your website? Artantics.co.uk. Lots, lots of stuff needs to be done on here. Um, plus, we need a logo. Yeah. Get a lot of money in that we can get an iMac. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, for a business landline as well. Just in case you're looking for, because you're. The what? Sorry. A business landline. You don't want a mobile phone on your website. That doesn't look professional. All oh, right. Add some to the thing. Yes. So for a business landline, this is what I use. It only costs five pounds a month, and I have an 0161 number, which is to Yetis Kitchen. But everybody thinks it's an 0161 number, so it's a landline, but it's actually on this mobile device. Ah. So that's why when you when somebody called earlier, I picked up and I said Yetis Kitchen. So they think they're calling me on a landline of official phone, but this is my mobile phone that I take everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you can you get a mobile phone when you've got like two the two numbers go to, for example? Oh, we could have this phone. I bought it off Amazon, and this phone is fifty quid, and it's a smartphone. How many men? Whoa! <laughs> it's a smartphone. I got it off Amazon, and it has a dual SIM. You can take two SIM cards. I need that, Reggie. They're doing like great videos too. Mm. So yeah, get it off Amazon. What's it called? Okay. The smartphone. I want a fair phone. I'm sure I can get one on there. It comes with a phone cover as well. A phone. It comes with what? It comes with a cover as well. Nice. It comes with a cover. Create a slideshow for your Sorry. business. Sorry, excuse me. So there you go. This is it, 56 pounds. Oh. See, this is the one, they've upgraded it. It costs triple card slots, so you can put three SIM cards in. Have you got, wow, so is that not iPhone? No, it's not a phone, it's a Hakuri. I don't care, I'm not going to receive phone calls and it's a smartphone. I could go on the internet with it. I thought it was iPhone, but no, it's not. Amazing, okay, we'll, we'll get hold of one of them. I think it would be good, wouldn't it, to have one of these for business, really? So, obviously, I add WhatsApp for my customers, so I can WhatsApp them and all that stuff. So, this does the job for you. It's cheap. Come to the phone cover, does the job for you. So, like I said, on here, you can get a business mobile. Okay. For five pounds or more. So, you plan from five ninety five a month, right? Mm -hmm. What you get is you get a UK landline number. 
and calls are diverted to your mobile phone. So right. customers don't get to know the mobile phone you're using to pick it up. And then you can also have voicemail to email. Meaning if the customer leave you a voicemail, you get an email automatically of it. So maybe you, don't, you can't listen to it on your phone. You listen to it by email instead. That's good. So that's what I use for it. Okay, that's good, yeah. Yeah, you choose your number as well. You get to choose what number you want to use. But yeah. What was your question? Art Antic. So, yeah, your phone, your logo, first things first. We need the logo looking nice. As soon as people get to your website, they want to see like examples of what you do. They're just like, wow. Yes, yeah, so if, if you scroll down, that's a painting. I don't know why I'm pointing to you because that's not going to be useful, but these are all my paintings and I've done loads of new ones recently. So they need access to your Instagram, so your Instagram gallery. So it needs to be where? Anywhere, Instagram gallery. Maybe Reggie should, Reggie should be here because he's the one that, um, what? he's the one that works on my website. Reggie, come over here, please. Yeah, so, so it's the fact that um, we need to make money like tomorrow, and that's why we're putting our business out there. But I mean, all of what you've told us today is going to massively, massively, massively help and, and give us ideas of how to. Sorry? Thinking about making money immediately, you need a website so you can start making money immediately. You need your social media presence so you can start making money immediately. You need a Facebook shop. So you can help that make your money immediately. Yeah, so we need to work on that first. We can't really proper promote okay, our okay. business if we um, don't have all those stuff. You need to go, Angela, put yourself on Fiverr. That's yeah. Put yourself on Fiverr, Angela. Yeah. Put yourself on Fiverr. Tell people you could do it. You need to put yourself on Fiverr as well. Yeah, but what you don't know is that you've got a Fiverr account. We've banned into freelancing. You've got to change the password like ASAP. Otherwise, in about two years, when we're really rich, they'll try and hack us. Yeah. Okay. Not just on Fiverr, you just need to have two factor authentication wherever Google, wherever you are. So, um, so go on Fiverr and say you could do a painting for somebody for thirty pounds, and they'll pay you to do a painting for them for thirty pounds. And you I need to create gigs on Fiverr. So I so I can proper I look for work on Fiverr. I've sent a pro use my email for quite a lot of things. I mean, not that many for art antics, but. Um, I'm just concerned now that people could try and kill me. I mean, not literally kill me, but you know what I mean. I've said it all over again, but you seem to be worried about something that not going to happen. Two factor authentication, meaning that before anybody can log into your account, they must text you on your phone. That's all. Ah, right, right, of course, because that's full verification. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two factor authentication is meaning before anybody can log into your account, you, you would get a text message. And if you don't click on accept on your phone, Person cannot log in. So just make sure, make sure Google verification is all set up. Two factor authentication doesn't say anything about Google. Yeah, okay. Ian, it's been a pleasure, guys. It's hmm. been amazing. Thank you, it's Yeti. It's been good. Take care. Okay. Yeah. Wow. What's a <laughs> blessing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks so much, yeah. yeah. I've learned so much. We'll like. see you Saturday again. Okay. <laughs>